Hello everyone, thank you for joining us here today. Hope you're all feeling good, hope you're all feeling positive, because we're going to talk about body image. So what is it? First thing that I do want to say about body image is that it's not all physical health related. There are many people who are very physically fit, they go to the gym, they diet well, they run, and they don't necessarily have a good body image. So what is body image? Body image is the thoughts and feelings that you have about yourself and your body. So today, we're going to teach you all about that. So fair. What in a vein? Why? <sighs> now I'm not going to be loved ever, ever. Who would love me? I mean, how do I even begin to look like that? Why? Why do I look? so fat and ugly and disturbing i'm not gonna get a job looking like that i'm not going to be loved by anybody like i can't even put it into words i'm disgusting nobody is thinking that but you there are so many teens thinking just like that just like you. So, don't listen to it. In fact, body image is actually the fourth largest concern among teenagers with mental health issues. Hmm, that's quite concerning. And 41.5% of adolescent Australian girls have problems with their appearance. But Australia, you're not the only one. 30% of UK teenagers feel upset with their appearance. While 31% feel ashamed with their body image. They pick on the littlest things that others don't even see. Social media can impact your body image by constantly exposing yourself to the ideal body type, leading to constant comparison of yourself to unrealistic standards. Photoshop and filters play a major role into the unrealistic standards that we see today in social media. It is important to examine ways to use social media in a positive way to avoid negative body image. It is important to take a break when you feel it is needed. Unfollow accounts if they do not make you feel good. Instead, pay attention to the accounts, people and images that lift you up. Okay, so now that we know, you know what body image is and how it affects some people and how many people it does affect, um, if you are feeling down about yourself, you're not on your own. And this is what I'm here to talk about is just how many things there are to help you. You know, it's not all doom and gloom. If you do feel down about yourself, um, we've, all, we've all probably felt down about ourselves at some point in our lives, but there are things we can do to turn it around. So like I said before, Having a, a positive body image doesn't necessarily mean that you're very fit, you're very strong, you've got a six pack, you've got big biceps. That doesn't mean that. There are a lot of people that go to the gym, that diet, that run, that don't necessarily have a good body image. Um, it's doing little things like identifying non-physical features about yourself that you like. You know, you might be a smart child. You might get really good grades in school. You might be in a leadership position at school. You might have just got that. You might have got um, a promotion or landed a new job. These things are going to make you feel good. And whatever makes you feel good and makes you see yourself in a positive way will improve your body image. So if you're struggling and you're feeling a little bit down, you don't need to think that going to the gym or going for a run is going to save it. It will definitely help. Going to the gym and working out and exerting yourself 
will make you feel good because it releases positive endorphins. But as we've seen in the video, having a six pack or big muscles doesn't necessarily mean that you feel really good about yourself. So what we want to do is improve yourself internally. It's not all physical features. Um, so like I said, focusing on positive things that you can do, whether it's getting better grades, being a nice person, helping out a friend, things like that will make you feel good about yourself. So there are ways to turn a negative body image into a positive one, and this is just one of them. So other than the tips that I've explained in the last video, what else is there to help you improve your body image? So I've got two websites here. Um, one of them is the Butterfly website. So they're a national website. Um, you've got their helpline up here and their email up there as well if you want to contact them. What they do is just they help you boost your body image. So they're creating more body satisfaction, acceptance, self-confidence, self-love. Um, that's what they focus on. They're a really, really good resource if you want to, if you're feeling down, you can just give them a call and they'll help you focus on the positives and that will improve your body image vastly. Um, so like I mentioned before, uh, they do a lot of what I said. So focus on your body function. So you're more than just your shape or form. Not everything is about your physical appearance. Um, and then the other website I've got as well is, the, is called The Body Positive. So they're a non-profit organization that teaches people to listen to their bodies, learn and thrive. So their goal, they're a little bit more serious in terms of um, body image. So they will, if you're feeling really down about yourself, um, they help with eating disorders, depression and anxiety and other mental illnesses. So they're a really good um, resource for you if, you if you're looking for a little bit of help. Um, but both of these websites have youth programs so they're focused on young people so if you ever feel like someone to talk to and just talk about yourself um, we'll put the details in the video but they're, they're a really good resource for you